I've been repeating my <laughs> I've been repeating to myself a lot lately this one mantra that really is helping me more than anything ha has I am capable despite the ableist society and because when we say despite my disabilities we are agreeing with the ableist notion that our disabilities are a hindrance and a problem. When we list all of our accomplishments and then we include despite my disabilities, we are enforcing the idea that our disabilities make us incapable of accomplishing great things. That's not true at all. My, like I was born disabled. I graduated valedictorian on top of my class Within a year, I had my associate's degree in psychology, and I was already a broadcast primetime director at the age of 19. And I used to say, despite my disabilities, I accomplished all this. But again, when I say that stuff, I'm agreeing that I shouldn't have been able to accomplish that because of my disabilities, and that's wrong. The only reason I was able to accomplish all of that was because of my disabilities because I couldn't be physical because I was so neurodiverse I could not relate to anyone socially and all I could do was study and all I could talk to was cameras that's it so it's not despite my disability at all and when we say despite my disability I was an award-winning director you're saying a disabled person shouldn't win awards, basically. You're saying a disabled person shouldn't be able to achieve what you achieve because of a disability. And you're saying that about yourself. You're basically cutting yourself short because of something that you were born with and that you couldn't control. That's so sick. And what's sick about it is that we are indoctrinated by society into feeling this way about ourselves. We are indoctrinated to think that our disabilities are a problem. They're not the problem. They're not the problem at all. The problem is the ableist society. The problem is the people who still haven't grasped the fact that survival of the fittest only really worked during a hunter-gatherer time. And this is modern civilization where you have to adapt to the disabled. Like, it blows my mind that in 2020, corporations still don't realize remote work is a reasonable accommodation. Like, when we start to share our stories with disabilities, chronic illnesses, and our experiences, please keep this in mind. Start to say, despite the ableism in society. Because truthfully, when you say, despite my disability, you are blaming yourself without realizing it and i don't think you know but it could cause you some really hard mental times because you're blaming yourself it's like i really think that's why i've been so depressed for the past few weeks because i've been saying i lost my job because of my disability well no that's not the case because when i say i lost my job because of my disability i'm blaming myself that's not the case at all. I did everything to keep my job. I adapted for almost eight years. I begged for accommodations. I tried so hard to keep doing what I loved. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault at all. It was the ableist society's fault. And so when I started to understand that it's not my fault. And when I say I lost my job because of my disability, I'm blaming myself. It was like, like, just, ah, you know, like the clouds opened, the, the depression wasn't as heavy. It was like, you got it, Marie. That's it. That's it. That's how you can fight this ableist society that broke you is by understanding it's not your fault. It's never your fault. You've always adapted. You've always overcome every adversity that your body threw at you. How in the fuck? 
can you sit there and say it's your fault? And really, it's been a couple days since I actually vocalized that and I haven't cried ever since. It's a peace. It really is. It's a peace in my heart that I finally feel better ever since I lost my job. Like, I finally feel like I did before I lost my job again. I feel capable. I feel like a motherfucking badass that's going to fight the system and make it better so no one else has to feel like I felt. And so what I keep repeating to myself to keep me on this path of self-empowerment is I am capable despite the ableist society. And I hope that helps you guys too. Because just repeat that to yourself. Remind yourself you're capable of great things. You've already done great things. And no, you're not the only one that feels like this. There are other people too. We're fighting for you. If you can't vocalize your pain, tell, come message me. I'll fight for you. You tell me your pain and I will vocalize it for you. It's just the only way we'll get this fixed. Happy holidays, guys. It's a holiday, I guess, right? Labor Day? I don't know. I don't work anymore. <laughs>